Today I got a class, I'm reviewing a really interesting product. This is actually a set of LED lights that are powered by a magnesium saltwater battery. It actually has a magnesium anode in here that when combined with the uh, electrolyte, which is normal salt, I'm using uh, sea salt here that I got at Walmart. And uh, it says to use 15 grams. I did it by weight. They do give you these little bags that have a little line. I'm guessing if you use normal square uh, fine ground salt, filling it up to the line would be about right. But I measured it by weight. And with my coarse sea salt here, I had to fill the whole bag up. And it worked out to about three teaspoons in my case. So uh, magnesium batteries have apparently been around for a long time. The military used to use them um, for a lot of their battery stuff up until uh, lithium started taking over. And uh, they have some benefits being that they can be uh, used for emergency power by simply uh, replacing the electrolyte. The main issue is the stability of the anode and uh, the calcification of the anode and uh, problems with recharging this particular chemistry of battery. There has been a lot of work done to try to get it to uh, be a much more stable battery technology, but uh, so far they have not managed to get it to match lithium's power density and stability. So there you see our anode. Um, in here we also have the, the cathode, and they don't really say what that is made out of. I'm guessing it's some sort of graphite. Um, it looks black like graphite. I'm going to guess some sort of graphite. And it is contacted by uh, either of these two contactors here. And it just goes straight on like that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with water, uh, put the salt in, and dissolve it. And we'll see what kind of uh, light we can get out of this. So we're getting 1.8 volts with the salt just dissolved in there. Let's see if we can mix it up a little bit more and get more voltage. All right, now we're getting 1.59 volts. So we're getting about a volt and a half, which is the same as you're gonna get out of a uh, AAA battery, a AA battery or a D-cell battery. And I'm guessing these are low voltage LEDs and uh, they can operate on that voltage. And let's see uh, what kind of mode we get with these things. So it looks like they start out in a cycle flashing mode. We'll change the button there. Got turn them off. Now they're fully solid on, flashing mode, off, solid on, flashing mode, off. Ah, pretty, pretty good. Let's turn the lights off and see what we get. So I think that's pretty impressive. Uh, this is my first experience with a uh, magnesium battery. And I, I can see the benefits of it. You could use it as a backup battery for um, even a house on a, on a larger scale um, using simply seawater to power your house. Um, the fact that they're coming out with uh, consumer electronics that utilize technologies that have otherwise gone by the wayside is uh, pretty cool. And I think this is a, a great example of both a science experiment and a... Uh, you know, energy-free uh, Christmas or lighting decor. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a, a thumbs up, especially if you got uh, one of those geeky science type kids like myself. Um, they would really get a kick out of this thing. So I would recommend this.